Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over how to add a buy button to your Shopify store. So some people are using Shopify for all, everything, using it for their CMS and, some, and for the checkout, but occasionally you're going to come across situations, for example if you're building out a bunch of landing pages, where it might be easier to use another application to actually manage all of your content. So in this demo I'm going to show you how to use the buy button provided by Shopify so that you can add on and shopping to your existing site without having to do much work at all. Okay, so I'm going to go over how you add the buy button to your Shopify store, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you how to add it to your other system so that people can click on it and check out. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go over to our dashboard, and we're going to go down to the side uh, side navigation here and you can see sales channels. Now there's going to be a plus in a circle over here. This is if you don't have the buy button already added to your dashboard. We need to add it. So we're going to click on plus and it's going to come up with sales channels. Now under sales channels you should see one down here in green that says buy button. You can hit the plus sign and what it'll do is it'll go, it'll go and add it to your dashboard. Once it's come up on your dashboard, you're going to have a couple of options. So the first option we're going to have is going to be create a buy button. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select a product. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to select an available product and one that's not hidden. So let's go with uh, this one here that's in stock. Select that product. And then we're given a couple of options on how we can go and configure the product. Now for the most part, the the default options that they give you are pretty good, but you can go through all of these menus and figure out exactly how you want to modify it. So you can have a basic button, you can have just the button, and you can have the enhance, which gives you all of the descriptions and the images and that sort of thing. For the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna go with the basic button, and I'm gonna leave all of the uh, options down below to their default. Um, we're gonna go with small, and we're gonna go alignment center, and we're going to sh show additional product images so that when you click on them, it's going to swap them out above, giving it a little bit, giving, making it a little bit more dynamic. So once we've gone through all of those pieces, we can click on shopping cart. Uh, we can modify the shopping cart and what it looks like. Everything looks great here. And then what we can do is we can go generate code. Now generate code is going to give us up some JavaScript code. So we're going to copy that code and then we're going to paste that into the uh, application that we're going to use to display the button. Now for the sake of this demo, I'm going to be using WordPress to display this button. So we're going to copy this to clipboard, but this will work on any website that allow you to post HTML embed code. So we're going to go over to our WordPress dashboard now, and I've already set up a post for this demo. So we've gone and created a new post. And then in the text area, we're going to go and paste in the code that Shopify has given us. We're gonna hit the update button, and then we can go and preview it. So let's go and preview it. And then when you hit add to cart, it's going to give you a nice JavaScript cart on the right hand side where you can go and modify your items, and then you can hit the checkout button. When you click the checkout button, it's actually going to give you a pop-up window for all of your checkouts. So you're not actually even going to leave the website, which is a really great way um, to keep users on your site so you don't have to redirect. So what do you do if you want to redirect your users? So if you want to redirect your users instead of staying on your website, you actually want to go to the Shopify checkout portion. Well, what we do is we go back to buy button, and we create a checkout link. Now the checkout link will redirect you directly to the checkout page. So let's go and select this product here. We'll copy this link. And then if you add this link to your own bar, own buy button that you have on your website, and then paste it into the URL bar, you'll see it takes you to a full page checkout page. Thanks for coming by guys. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, hit the bell button if that's something you're into, and we'll see you in the next one.